Hey guys, Nash here. So we install many rooms and sometimes things doesn't go right. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually take full Android backup. So if anything goes wrong, you can restore it completely. Now this feature is of course available in custom recovery and that's what we are going to use. I'm using TWRP. You might be on any other custom recovery. All recovery has this feature. This video is sponsored by MyTrade, where you can trade forex commodity, cryptocurrency, base place if you want to buy your first Bitcoin. For more info, check the link below. So as you can see, I have booted into my recovery. I'm using simple TWRP recovery for this video. So to take full Android backup, we are going to tap on this backup and make sure you have selected system, vendor, data and boot. After that, you can change the name is completely option if you don't want to change the name, it's up to you and then swipe right to backup. It will take around 2 to 3 minutes depending on how many apps you have in your system. So now we have successfully taken our full Nandroid backup. Now if you want to be 100% secure, I would highly recommend you take this Nandroid backup file from your phone to your PC. It's really easy, go to your internal storage, there is a folder called TWRP, just take that and drag and drop in your PC and you're safe now. So in the future, if you're installing a ROM or kernel, but anything goes wrong, you can just go to this restore tab and here you will find your full Nandroid backup. But before that, make sure you go to wipe and wipe everything except internal storage. So that's how you can be completely secure while trying other rooms or trying different kernels in TWRP. Like this video if you appreciate my work. This is your friend Nan signing out and I will see you tomorrow.